All right, so when it comes to chasing your dream, sometimes you're your biggest obstacle and don't even realize it. So our guest now is going to help us realize if we're indeed standing in our own way, and if so, how to move out of it. Founder of Select and Start, Jeffrey Azan, uh, is with us. Morning, friend. Good morning, good morning. Tell morning, quickly, Jeffrey, tell me quickly how about are Select you? and Start. So Select and Start is a personal development company. We are focused on helping individuals maximize their potential, or as we call it, level up. Mm -hmm. uh, very often we are, as we say, stuck in our own ways and Select and Start believes that we have found a way to overcome this, move forward and help people achieve all that they want to achieve. Oftentimes they're our own biggest enemy, aren't we? Indeed, indeed. Tell me about that. So I want to achieve, um, how do I stop myself? Well, the first problem is you have to recognize the problem. You know, the first step in solving any problem is recognizing that there is a problem. And our biggest problem in life is often our excuses. Hmm. Here's the problem with excuses. They're real. Very often we say, oh, don't make excuses, but excuses are real. So first thing, very first, is we have to not accept ex excuses. They're Give real. us some examples of some of those excuses that we usually make. I don't have the education. I don't have the money. I don't have the network. I don't have the connections. I don't have the right job. I don't come from the right community. And the list goes on oh, and on and, and on. But you're saying sometimes all that is true. It's very true, but it's not good enough. Don't let it limit you from making the next step. Exactly. So exactly. take us through how you, how do you, how do you help us to select where we want to go and start <laughs> making that step Excellent. Um, it, it, into the direction that we choose. Well, what we've done is over the years, we've done a number of workshops and sessions trying to solve different problems for different people. And what it all came together is a very simple philosophy called change your game, change your life. Mm -hmm. Now, what a game is, is three elements, an agreed upon objective, an agreed upon set of rules, and agreed upon players. Mm -hmm. We have these same three elements in life. Most people, the first step is to set an objective. Mm -hmm. A lot of us get up every day not knowing why we're getting up. Mm. We get up with this idea to run down the bill, run down the school, make it here, make it there. But why? If I was to sum it up, it's a very simple concept. Responsibilities versus priorities. Every day we get up chasing on responsibilities, mm -hmm. but responsibilities are society set. Mm. Priorities are soul set. So the first step in setting your objective, what are your priorities? Mm -hmm. What does your soul call to? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The second step is master the rules. Very often on a day-to-day -day basis in life, we're running around trying to make ends meet. But what are we really doing? What rules are we really paying, playing by? Mm -hmm. One of those key things is time. How do we use our time? That's a very simple concept I share with people. Win the morning, conquer the day. Hmm. And that's all about time and how, how do, you treat it. How do it. we win this morning now? Because some of us wake up on, with the snooze button. Snooze, 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 <laughs> lethargic, don't want to get up. How do we win that morning? So what I recommend to people is set your life goals mm -hmm. for the first thing in the morning. Mm -hmm. What do you want to achieve in life? Do you want to read more? Do you want to exercise? Do you want a better diet? Set those things before the day starts, mm -hmm. before the grind of the nine to five. So what happens is when you wake up, life is now at the door mm -hmm. and you have to get up to greet life. What happens a lot of the time when we snooze is we wake up and there's this void between when do I wake up and when does life start? Mm -hmm. But if I wake up and I have my life to achieve, mm -hmm. very often it's very easy to get up and achieve my life accordingly. And not press snooze. And not press snooze. So news. basically know what you want to do and then figure out how you're going to do it. Exactly. And then do it. And then do it. And more importantly than that, something that we all forget is the very little in life we have innately. Mm -hmm. A lot in life, greatness, fame, money, wealth, status is given to us. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so the third point is choose your players. Mm. Who are you playing with? Mm -hmm. Who are you playing against? Mm -hmm. Very often we in life invite toxicity through our long-standing relationships mm -hmm. and make excuses for them because it's my friend from 20 years ago. Mm. It's my prep school friend. It's my primary school friend. It's my high school bridging. He was there for me mm -hmm. in the situation. But he's toxic. But he's toxic. No. So let me ask you. It's <laughs> interesting. It, yeah, Tox, toxic, toxic, toxicity. Toxicity. Don't really like toxicity. 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 
Sí. 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 Talk. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we are just joking here. He's all not love, toxic. All love, all love. It's all love. Uh, let's look at now. Today is World Mental Health yes. Day. Um, how does mental health play or factor into this select and start and finding where you are? Do you see a lot of people suffering from that and not able to step out of that zone? Well, select and start greatness. really comes from a place of mental health in the mm -hmm. grand scheme of things. Uh, I fell apart in life around the age of 17 when mm -hmm. my dad left mm -hmm. and my life fell apart. I measured myself according to my dad. I said, if I can be half the man my dad is, mm -hmm. I will be a great man. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And he left. Mm. And so how do you become half of nothing? Mm. And that really took me to a place of depression and real suicidal thoughts. Mm -hmm. I had rationalized that... I'm suffering today emotionally and mentally. Even though everything around me looks great, mm -hmm. I'm suffering. Mm -hmm. Why should I keep suffering? Right. And once you make that rationale, suicide becomes a very real thing mm -hmm. to you mm -hmm. and a very dangerous Suicidal thing. Suicidal ideation, exactly. which many young men face. And it's so funny, you know, because we live in a Jamaica that is so divided by, um, you know, race, race and class. color, class. Color. And, you know, you have the name Azan and people may mm -hmm. look at you and say, um, you know, I'm a brown, in or I'm white and I'm have life, right? Because I'm name Azan. Life easy. And the thing is, on this day, we need to really educate them that mental health and, and, and struggles in life has really, no, they're, they're, everybody, especially when it comes to mental health, mm -hmm. it has no real color. Mm -hmm. It has no real class. Many people suffer from it. So I think right. this is something we need to really talk about. For sure. Finding yourself and you, you've been able to overcome it. How do we find you? How much money it costs when it comes <laughs> when it comes to booking you for a session for our motivational um, development and support? How so much we, does it so cost? we have three services. I just touch on the three services. The first and foremost is motivational speaking. Large group talks, motivate, get the mind right, move the people on. Mm -hmm. Our next service is workshops where we come in and we train you in how to do these things. How do you move forward? And final service is one-on-one -on -one coaching. Yes. So for one-on-one -on -one coaching, mm -hmm. we recommend touching base with us. We recommend 10 sessions. Yes. It's a 10-step program. Okay. Sometimes longer, sometimes shorter, depending mm -hmm. on the person. And it's just an easy 5,000 per yeah. session. Mm -hmm, Same mm -hmm. as a therapist or a counselor. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. the point is, what do you want out of life? Mm -hmm. Is your life worth it? It's an right. investment. Indeed. Good it to is. see you. Indeed. It Thanks, for coming. Thanks for coming. Thank you, Jeffrey. And we can find him on social media. Yeah, all the social media. Select Jeff and start. Select. Right there. There right you there. go. <laughs> and start. start. Founder of Select and Start, Jeffrey Azan. And coming up next is a church using the Bible to justify abuse. Let's talk on the other side of the break.